Right, here's the next uh, review uh, for Dreamforge. This is the support weapon set. And uh, next to the Leviathan, I think this is uh, one of my favorites to uh, work on. Uh, basically, you can put together three heavy weapon sets. There's a mortar crew, an anti-tank crew, and a machine gun crew. And on uh, the back shows you the different parts. Sorry, it's not a machine gun, anti-aircraft. But uh, yeah, this is a fun kit to put together. And uh, let me grab the sprues here and I'll show you what comes in the box to start with and I'll show you my finished uh, finished guys. So first you have is uh, the bases. Then you have two sprues. And again, there's a lot of, a lot of little detailed parts here. So I'm really enjoying the uh, the time and effort put into design this. I mean, uh, just all the little details that you pick up. It's like every time I look at it, I'm picking up something new. But this is the parts here for the looks like the anti-tank gun and uh, the aircraft, anti-aircraft. So that's one. Sp so the, really, the, the sprue is all of your different uh, heavy weapons, and then the other sprue is your soldiers that go with each. So for each one you have a, a spotter um, and then two support guys uh, to go along with them. So this is the sprue for all their parts. And the, these are little computers they have to control it. Here's another example of uh, some of the cool detail here. You just have a guy, the hand holding a shell getting ready to load it. Uh, and again, different arm options. Now you don't have as many uh, options as you do with the uh, the other one, just because these are kind of specific to the to the gun. And I guess in the game, each crew is uh, is one one unit, or it's not like uh, at least as far as I know. Like I said, it's still kind of in process of being made. But uh, I'm guessing by the design of the actual models that uh, each crew is its own unit, for lack of a better term. So those are the parts that come in. And again, the same great quality as you get with the other units. And then I'll show you kind of my finished products here. And these go along with my uh, the ones I showed you before, the, the camo. Uh, troopers I have. These I did in the same, same pattern. I guess we'll start with uh, the anti-tank crew here. So you got your spotter in the back with binoculars. You've got your anti-tank gun. You've got the, the control box wired in. I, I dropped some of the. It comes with uh, all of these are individual sh shells that come in there. So I threw a couple of spent ones on the ground. The other ones in the box. Now I added some of the. Uh, uh, logos there, but everything else uh, came came with the uh, with the box. So this is the anti tank unit. Next up, we have the mortar crew. And this is a pretty cool looking mortar. It's got like three tubes, and uh, here's some of the spent ones on the ground, and a couple in the crate ready to load up. And then you have your loader here with one ready to drop in. Here's the spotter. He's got his, him, I put the binoculars up to his eyes. And let's see, then in the back we have the, the guy controlling it with his computer. I guess this is more or less kind of like a radar, radar dish. And the decal is something I added. Uh, no decals come with these, so I added those onto the side of the tube there. See there. And on this side as well. Little arrow you know, front towards enemy. So that is the mortar crew. And then the last one is your, your anti-aircraft. 
and this does actually move. It's a little tricky if you don't do it just right, you'll end up gluing it in place, but somehow I managed not to do that, so that came out the way it was supposed to. Uh, again, here you have the loader. He's getting ready to load up the drum magazine on the top here. This is actually four. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see it there. You get four different guns on there. So we've got all the spent drums on the ground. Got a case of them ready to load up again. Got your spotter. And again, we have another guy with a control computer here. So yeah, so those are the uh, which you can build out of that that kit. You build one of each. Um, I know some people had asked, you know, could you build three? You know, the anti-tank, or do they all have to be uh, different? And the, the way the box comes, you have enough for one of each. So. You know, if you want multiple or something, you'd have to buy another box. But uh, again, these are fun little kits to put together. And uh, everything here was uh, right out of the kits. Other, like I said, other than the decals, everything else uh, was in the kit already. So yeah, uh, definitely recommend picking those up. Um, again, they'll make great proxy uh, units for any you know sci-fi futuristic uh, type of game. Uh, certainly for Imperial Guard, you know, they would make good, good heavy weapons units. Uh, or if you just like painting, yeah, you know, quality miniatures, I'd definitely pick, up, pick those up. They, you know, so definitely some great diorama potential here. I guess you could say each of these is kind of like its own little diorama. But uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot you can do with it, and I built them pretty much exactly like they show on the box. I didn't get too, too creative or crazy with it but I had a lot of thoughts of things I could do with these uh, and I have another set of these so I'll probably do a little more customization on those but yeah so if you're looking for some proxies for 40k or some other sci-fi game and uh, you want some truce of heavy weapons definitely check these guys out uh, very high quality very detailed and uh, definitely a great uh, 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 benefit for the you know cost that you pay so highly recommend uh, really any of the Dreamforge stuff that's out right now I would recommend picking up because uh, it's just a great product and I think the best is still to come for them so you know check it out uh, you can check out their site I'll put a link down below uh, or you can you, these are already actually in distributors I know the war store and uh, in the US has them uh, you can get them from the Dreamforge site you can get them from War Games Factory and I think, uh, you know, there's different distributors in other countries, so, you know, check those out. Um, the Dreamforge site actually will list um, on one of their pages who the different distributors are for each country. So if you're not sure, check that out. So if you have any questions, comments, anything, throw it down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.